Hello and welcome to the, the, the sale of the Abbey Stafford County Caravan. Um, it's a five berth caravan, fairly level. Um, it was made in 1998, so this, bear in mind this is a, a 19 year old caravan, but it's in very reasonable condition for its age. Uh, we'll just do a walk around and I'll show you various bits and pieces. Um, Like I say, it's in very reasonable condition. Um, I'm stepping over things here, so just bear with me. Down this side is the uh, the locker for the Th Thetford pull-out toilet cassette and the leisure battery. Very simple thing. Top loader for the pink fluid. Bottom loader for the blue fluid. And the cassette just slides out like this for emptying. All, all the locks work. It's well tied up, all good tyres. You can see that or not. There we go. There's your waste runaway pipes for the sink and shower etc. There's your battery inside here. Just having a bit of a charge at the minute. It's hooked up to the mains. It's a good long uh, mains lead, it's about 40 45 foot. I've got it going through into the uh, shed there. For my power up for my power. Look around to the front. Under the cover here, we have, um, I hope the light can see this, I've got the spare wheel there and uh, jack. Gas bottle in the corner. And down here there's a stabilising bar, um, but because I've not got the right fittings on the back of my car, um, I can't have it hooked up. It's the dual electrics, um, the white one for, for charging the leisure battery when the car's moving, which is set from the inside, and the normal black one for the caravan lights. There's just one or two little marks on this caravan which I want to point out. I don't know if this will show up very well. There's a, a slight blemish here. And just another bit of one there. Once a good clean and a polish up, but <laughs> so do most caravans of this age. Um, good galvanised step there, twin step. Into, uh, into the caravan. A light above, which works. I'll just put that on then you can see it. Might be able to catch it in this light. Light works. It's the uh, stable door, so you can you can uh, have the bottom part shut like so, and the top part open. There go the dogs crossing the road. Nice bin there, just on the outside of the door. And as you come into the caravan, there's a fire extinguisher there and a smoke alarm. Um, a light switch here for some of the internal lights. To the back, there's a sleeping for three. There's a bed at the bottom which, which doubles up into a bunk, a, a double bed, the bunk with a bunk above. Little table in the corner, which just simply falls, falls down and tucks away, like so. Table at, table at the back fits in on the uh, chrome pole, makes a very nice breakfast area. Very, very simple to dismantle. And this brings you back to this seating area stroke bunk. Underneath, there's a, a nice, decent sized cupboard, complete with quilts, etc. This slides out. Slides out like so, and then you can pull your cushions across to make uh, a bed area in this in this section. And it does have um, a door. Just undo these two clips like this, and then you have a double door here that slides across and makes this, it makes this area nice and private. I'll just step back so you can see this. So when, you, so when you've turned that into a, a sleeping area, 
you've got that lovely door there that slides across and makes it all nice and private. Let's reopen this door. Now in here, I'll just slide this rack back and I don't fall over it. It tucks away nice and neat. This bunk, um, this bunk bed falls up and it, then you slide it onto that fitting there and that fit in there and it tucks, out, tucks all neatly out of the way and there's the ladder for climbing up onto the bunk plenty of storage above nice big uh, cupboard here plenty of space, nice and dry more storage here and here and a dinky little shelf there all the windows in the caravan, apart from on the door, the door has a blackout blind but all the rest of the windows, they have the fly nets, the blackout blinds and of course the curtains. That's the rear area, that's a seating area stroke uh, sleeping area. I'll just move this table out of my way. And to the left of there you have the uh, bathroom toilet area vented above rack there for hanging things on vanity unit sink below and below that a little cupboard complete with toilet rolls etc shower base that's in very good condition Thetford toilet the indicator here green is empty and as this as it fills up it turns red so we know how to empty it which I'll, which I'll show you on the outside which we've seen on the outside it has a flusher here which you just twist the flush away and of course the usual open and close the waste away in there it has a shower and all you do is um, lift up the tap sink Pull it up, clip it onto this fitting, and away you go, you've got your shower. So that's shower, vanity unit, sink and cupboard below, shower base, Thetford toilet, bit of racking space to hang things on, skylight, and of course the, uh, the light in the shower works. On and off. As you move down the caravan, I'll just shut this door and I don't walk into it. As you move down the caravan, you come to a wardrobe area, which is this area here. Let's open this up and let you have a look in. So you have a shelf above, you have a clothes rail and a base, which also lifts to give you access if necessary to the back of the fire that's the electric blown fan mechanism that blows um, hot air around the van from from various vents also in here you have the uh, TV aerial booster they're working and lit up also just going back uh, this section here the fuse box above fuse and switches um, and then in this area you store away that table and a double one outside that I'll show you shortly and they just slide into there clip in away and sorted going back to this toilet stroke wash area when you're inside the toilet and you want privacy it does lock you just pull out this knob like so and it locks it and it locks the door from the inside we're down to the front, you've got the big uh, seating area in the front all the cushions are clean, there's no rips, cigarette burns etc all in good order um, doubles up into, uh, slides out, this slides out at the bottom and makes a double bed, pull the rack up like this the rack comes out and you slide your cushions across and you've got yourself a fantastic double bed there same with these windows They've all got fly screens, blackout screens and curtains. 
plenty of storage above. I'll just slide this back in. Plenty of storage above. All these internal lights work. Spotlights below. On and off switch. Both sides. Storage above again as I was saying, um, even comes with a, a toaster, a radio up there in the corner, um, it's also a CD player as I recall, nice and dry again, cupboard next, next to it, this is uh, where you can store glasses, the glasses come with it etc, so if you're wanting a juice or a, something a bit stronger you've got some glasses there. Across here is, is a control panel for um, the voltage on the uh, um, leisure battery, up for towing, down for the van, pump for the water and auxiliary, then below there is the, um, the cascade water heater, very simple controls on and off, and below is the on and off switch for the hot water never turn the hot water on unless the system is full of water or you'll burn out the uh, cascade water heater gas fire uh, as with most older caravans the gas fires can be very temperamental to light on the gas but as I say um, on this control panel here you've got the fan master switch you switch this on and then this control at the side side of it, you switch it on with this. I don't know if you can see this light flashing here. And you just keep pressing on and off this button until you come to the, as in this example, because it's hooked up to the mains, um, electric slow fan. And that sends lovely warm air to various vents um, situated around the van. TV socket aerial. The TV is coming with the van. So you have the TV. And down here, there's various uh, power boxes and uh, free view box, hookup cables. Um, that's for the TV, the main jack in. If you want to put a DVD or a CD player in, you've got another lead there. All the remotes, etc. etc. Back to the TV. I'm going to move that TV off there because I want to show you. I'll put this to one side. And what you have on here, you have there's the uh, TV aerial. This shelf slides out and falls back to make another table area. Very simple, just falls back over, slide it back, don't trap the TV aerial, slide it back, TV back on, and then I don't end up dropping that on the floor and anything silly basic TV but um, it does the job it works of course you might have trouble with reception depending where you are and then you have two drawers another TV with storage also again underneath but this that goes into the front area plug socket to the right um, Storage underneath the bunks, the usual storage underneath the bed, sorry. Paperwork with the caravan. Um, what have we got here? We've got the owner's handbook. The caravan is, is on the um, CRIS register. Uh, the caravan was first registered in August 1998. Um, this, is the this is the register for, for caravans to, to prevent theft. This original certificate said that it's roadworthy when brand new. Various bits and pieces, information regarding the uh, the uh, lock at the front, etc. Um, your fresh water containers, the original uh, Thetford cassette manual, the manual for the fridge, manual for the fire. Um, and then that explains about the fan master control which does the 
the uh, blown hair system, uh, air system in the van. Another socket there, double socket. Storage above again on this side. Plenty of room, all nice and dry. Tons and tons of storage space in these caravans. They're like a, they're like a TARDIS. Storage above the uh, cook, the sink. Same again. Fly screen. Blackout blinds on the kitchen window. That brings you to the sink. Fall back lid. Fold it out if you wear, and you've got your your drainer. Had a decent sized sink there with hot and cold water. Below that is the fridge. Now this is turned on and it's it's working on the mains at the minute. Usual type of caravan fridge. Small freezer to the top. Couple of shelves and uh, a, a space for, for milk etc in the doors. Nice little fridge. Side of the fridge is the cooker. Got a flip up lid on the cooker. It's a four ring hob. Decent size, decent size cooker. Below is the grill. Grill to the bottom. Grill pan. Below the grill. The oven. Decent size oven. Creaky though. <laughs> Decent size oven. And there's now an overall view of the caravan. I'll just have a quick pan round for you. Back to the rear. And then also with the caravan, there's various bits and pieces which I'll come out now and explain. So you've got the big fold away table there that goes in into the inside locker and stores away within seconds not a problem then below there's three three outside chairs behind this there's an extra oil fired electric um, heater should you need it then in this bag here we've got um, an awning it's a half size awning it covers the back and the doorway etc and down here a couple of stick on mirrors for towing here you've got the bulldog auto clamp that's the wheel clamp for you put around obviously around the caravan wheel for security here we have the the lock for the towing eye bucket of bits this is the whale pump for outside which just bobs in you turn the pump on inside and it pumps water in to the to the caravan um, through through these two here which is which are the uh, water barrels um, ro roller barrels both have both have their own handles 40 liters each and the waste away container now the waste away container and the two fresh water barrels they all have their own covers so you can fully fully cover them um, so if you've been for example on a muddy site where you've been pulling your water containers about all week and they're full of mud you just put them inside the covers pull them tight and, you, you, and everything remains clean inside the caravan so with two fresh waters, one water away, bucket and uh, fluids for the Thetford toilet and the, the whale pump, the security lock for the front toy and I, wheel clamp, awning, an extra uh, heater if you should need it. Beyond, behind there the two stick on mirrors, then we've got the three outside chairs, and the uh, table for the um, for the inside of the caravan. Let's go back down this side and down this end under this cover, which I forgot to show you before. This is where you plug in 
the whale pump into that fit in there the pipe goes into your fresh water barrel and pumps water into the caravan trim slightly loose there um, down this side the caravan's in very very level condition let's go back around this again get a good view of what's going on like I say it's a, a five berth it was made in 1998 so this caravan's 19 years old it tours nice um, doesn't feel particularly heavy doesn't wander about nice and steady oh what I will do also I'll just show you the the, the roof of the caravan I'll climb up the ladder in a second there we go now just bear with me if you hear a scream I've fallen off this ladder up we go yep the roof of the caravan uh, could do with a clean but it's not full of moss and and crap like a lot of caravans there you've got the TV aerial and just to the side of it is the vent for the the uh, gas fire well I think I've just about said all I can say at the moment so thank you for watching this video um, it's got everything it needs it's got plates cups frying pan Toasters, bit of bedding, um, everything you should need, it's all there, down to an awning, your fresh water in, your waste away water, outside table, outside chairs, security, it's got the wheel clamp, um, it's got the clamp for the towing eye, and all the anti theft systems that you'd, to give you peace of mind. And there we go, look across the bottom edges. So well thank you for taking the time to come by and watch this video, it's all there, just hook up and away you go, thank you, bye for now.